Here's what's coming up today. After a very long and extended transit, we just got to Texas. We're here for a few different things. We're gonna try and find some waves. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, there's one really, really important task we need to get through before we, before we do that. Start this way? Okay, thank you. This is what we're here for. Brisket. And you know why? It's because of the movie Chef. Everything about that movie is amazing. And the, and the brisket scene was so intriguing that I literally Googled Texas brisket. Where do I find it? And this incredibly authentic place showed up. Look at it, it's so cool. Howdy, have you all been here before? No, this is our first time. I just wanted to, is, is there a way to try some samples of the brisket? Absolutely, that's what I was about to get for you. Okay, actually. that'd be amazing. So that's going to be a sample of the brisket Okay. the turkey. In the middle of that is going to be a sample of the moist brisket in particular. Okay. So good. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you very much. Do you know if there's any surfing around here? Surfing? Uh, not really around here. What a champion. That guy is just a, an ambassador for Texas. Well, that was fun. Let's see what else we can do in Texas. Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think we're staying here tonight as well. I'm meant to be. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh, oh my god, that looks so fun. Today I'm getting special access to Waco Surf Resort, and to show me the ropes are owners Mike and Amy. My name is Michael Paul Schwab. This is my wife, Amy Hunt, and we are in the middle of Texas. The wave pool space is blowing up right now. Our tech partner is called American Wave Machines. This is the perfect swell technology. You can see similar technology in Japan. They just built a pool down in Brazil. It allows us to change the waves and the click of a button super like on the spot. Now you've seen it since you've been here. We can go from rights to lefts, from barrels to airs to standard runner waves very easily. It's a incredibly fun system and a pretty wicked job. We get surfers from basically every continent that's got people. And we also have a super solid core community of surfers that now live in the Austin or Dallas uh, metro metropolitan areas. And we just happen to be smack dab in the middle of Dallas and Austin. It's about an hour and a half from either side. Holy moly, what an experience. Just to be thrown in there like that, totally unprepared. The biggest difference there is this, the wave literally comes out of nowhere. It's like a quarter of a foot bump and it's only a meter away from you and then it just jacks up. So you've really got to preempt it with the paddle. And then when you're on it, the pocket's quite tight. 
uh, particularly at the start of the wave. So if you go too far out, I, I found that uh, you sort of lose that connection, that energy a little bit. Um, whereas, you know, when I sort of sat with it and stayed in the pocket, waited to go vertical and tell, or, or go aggressive until down the line a little bit, that's when it sort of pushed back at you. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that the lip here is a lot more prominent and for sure towards the end of the wave I can I feel like it's it's definitely a step closer to a normal wave than the current wave garden technology that I've that I've experimented with but that was really cool. My first little taster on day one was a hoot but I don't want to burn myself out because I've got another full day here tomorrow. Luckily I'm staying on site in one of a handful of perfectly positioned rooms right above the pool. Oh my goodness, we have, we have waves, we have waves right there and then within a heartbeat, like this is our room, um, we've got like an incredible nice little house for everybody. Nice little sleep in and the waves are on our doorstep which is really nice. Uh, as you can see though, <laughs> look at all the gear everywhere. <laughs> this is what living out of a suitcase looks like for four young gentlemen on the road. It's pretty surreal actually, I'm, I mean literally we're looking at perfect machine generated waves within 100 metres of, of my bedroom. First up today I'm in the advanced surf session, an hour long booking consisting of the signature turns wave available here at Waco. Firstly, the rights. Four wave sets every 80 seconds or so. Sounds good to me. This is definitely a rippable high performance wave with lots of power. For me, I found that I can take two different lines. I can do three or four smaller turns and link them together, or I can do one or two major maneuvers and kind of throw away the rest of the wave. Regardless though, it's a super fun and rippable wave. Sometimes backhand can be easier when it comes to keeping your turns tight and powerful. So let's see how the lefts go now. I definitely felt like I could perform better on the backhand here, but it did take some getting used to. You really need to trust that the lip is gonna show itself because as you're bottom turning, you can't really see it and you can't really read the wave as if it were in the ocean. The lip kind of pops up last second, offering up a tidy little vertical line the whole way through. The boys and I are loving it, mixing up the order each set and chatting in between. In the advanced session, you have 12 people max in the water. So at four wave sets, that's guaranteed a wave every third set with about three to four minutes waiting time in between. In the pro setting, which is coming up later, there are nine people allowed in the water. One thing that's really surprised me is the variation between wave one, wave two, wave three, and wave four during the set. Just in the uh, advanced session just then, in the turns, you can create quite a different line depending on which number you go. Uh, and I think that's really cool because it keeps it interesting, it keeps it engaging throughout your session. I've got another session in an hour, and for this one, I wanna see how an everyday surfer thinks of it. So I'm setting up my filmer, Santi, with the GoPro. You're heading out? You're gonna yes. give us a report? All right. Right. people, yeah. We'll see you after the session. <laughs> Wave number four, and I have hit in like three waves in five minutes. <laughs> Let's keep that going. Hey, bro, how's it? Perfect. That's perfect. perfect. <laughs> in a couple of hours, I've got the pro session turns, airs, and tubes. I'm super excited, but with some time to kill, the boys and I look south just over the river to something slightly different. It looks scary and exciting. <laughs> more scary or more exciting? I think it's more scary. <laughs> uh, and this is how Gail died. <laughs> <laughs> So hang on, you're going for that one. I'm going get wet. Pete's getting sent on that one. Yeah, and you're going for long, long range. And I'm going long range over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. <clears throat> oh shit. Can we go at the same time? Let's do it. Oh boy. Cross your legs! Cross <laughs> 
so scary. <laughs> I don't reckon if they didn't go and I didn't have accountability, I'm not sure that I'd do that. Okay, back to the surfing. The pro session, unlike the advanced, is a unidirection 90 minute long booking that kicks off with turns for 30 minutes. Cadence changes as we are delivered single airwaves every 60 seconds. Unfortunately, and this is always the case with airs, the wind isn't really cooperating today with a stiff cross shore breeze, which made a successful landing kind of impossible, for me anyway. Waiting eight to 10 minutes between waves on this setting makes it a little tricky to find good rhythm. Your nerves kind of naturally build up in between and it makes the surfing seem a little less natural and more staged. But the quality of the section is pretty good. I can see how on a day with good wind, it would make practicing airs really easy. The only surprising thing I found, different from what I expected after watching videos, is that the section kind of bends away from you a little bit, which makes airs feel a lot harder than they need to. I'd love to see a version of this where the whitewater ramp presents itself a little earlier and actually is directed more towards you than away from you. After a dispiriting four or five attempts at landing one, we're shifting onto barrels. With the same cadence, one wave every 60 seconds, this backdoor wedge setting is kind of gnarly. The barrel is super hollow and takes a little getting used to. It really sucks a lot of water up the face, making it tricky to hold your line in the tube, even on the forehand, which is saying something. Up. I don't know if he's, uh, nah, we'll see. Rapunzel! <laughs> I've been feeling pretty confident backside tube riding since Nicaragua, but trying the wedge out here in the pool was super challenging. Because the wave jacks up so fast and hollow, it makes sitting your butt on the face somewhat awkward until you're actually in the barrel and have set your line. I think this is something I could definitely get used to over time and it probably reflects my own backside tube riding skill as well. But needless to say, there were some serious beat downs going on while we all figured it out. What an epic day. I mean, I, I'm exhausted. We've caught so many waves. It's such a different experience to what I was expecting and I, re I really had no yardstick for this type of pool and totally different to what I've had before which is amazing to, to come here basically what it feels like to be in the in the middle of nowhere and and go surfing for a full two days is just insane so that was incredible I'm stoked and I definitely think you should come here if you can if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button let me know down below where's your favorite wave pool and I'll see you in the next episode Ooh. It's so calm, and then there's a little rumble of the machine, we're and on. now we're off. Oh, there it is!